do three yard quilt patterns make such great donation quilts? We're gonna show you why. Hi, it's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. So many of you have told us that you love using three yard quilts for donations. They're fast, they're easy, and they can make lots and lots of quilts to give. Now today we are gonna be focusing on Quilts of Valor. Quilts of Valor is a really awesome organization that gives homemade quilts to service members and veterans. Now Quilts of Valor has a very specific size that they need for donation. Their minimum requirement is 55 inches by 65 inches. Now three yard quilts are just shy of that measurement. So today we're gonna to give you lots of tricks and tips on how to make them just a little bigger so that you can donate them to Quilts of Valor. Now this is our so quick pattern and it's super fast to put together, which is great for donation quilts. We have a nice big block here that's gonna be able to handle a really big print so you can really show it off here and then a really fast four patch as our alternate block. So this is gonna to go together super quick. Let's check out some fun fabric. Mom, we have our so quick on the table and you know why we called it so quick? Because you can make it in a hurry. It's so quick. <laughs> <laughs> and we have some great fabric that's gonna work perfect for Quilts of Valor. So as our focus fabric, we have this great red with the big stars on it. And this is gonna work perfect in this big area right here. It's gonna be so fun. It's just gonna be, playful and fun because it's such a big star. I love mm -hmm. that. Now our number two is, it's not quite just a white, it has just a little pin dot on it. Mm -hmm. And that is gonna go everywhere the yellow is. And then as our number three, we have like a double focus situation. We have a big blue star that is gonna go in our four patch here where the black is and on our mm -hmm. border. So it's really gonna frame it. I Wait. never had thought about using this for like a double focus before. I know, it's I kind of that's a cool a, idea. It is. <laughs> that, I think that's a really cool idea. Yeah. And this is a fun, fun fabric. I really like the big stars on it too. Yes. And I really think the big stars just kind of give it a, a funkiness about it. And it's just so cool. <laughs> it is. I, I like that too. I'd say this quilt would be the star of this show. <laughs> yes, I totally <laughs> agree. I totally agree. Okay, now let's talk about one of the simple ways that we can increase the size of the So Quick Quilt and make it super easy for you. Now we have something on our website called a free goodie. It, just go to our website, fabriccafe.com, go to the free goodies tab, and under the guides and tip sheets, you're gonna have add a border to a three yard quilt. And we're gonna tell you exactly how to do that, what size, you determine what size border that you wanna do, and it's gonna tell you everything that you need to cut, which is fantastic. Now, we have something else that's gonna make this super easy as well. We have something on our website, website called End of Bolt. Now, these are great, and they're, we affectionately call them EOBs, which is end, end of bolt, bolt <laughs> because they're not quite a yard, but they're really good size. So I really like this. Lots of different ones up there that will coordinate really well mm -hmm. with most of our kits. So in this case, you could get an end of bolt, get your free um, instruction sheet on how to add a border, mm -hmm. and then you can put a build border on our so quick quilt. So what we have done here is just put a five inch border around it. And we also have our original quilt side by side here so that you can see what it looks like and the difference. That and is really nice. Adding that extra border goes so fast. And with the EOBs, it really makes it super affordable as well. And because that free border sheet actually shows you how to make two different size borders. Mm -hmm. If you're using the end of bolts, you could add two more fabrics and make it really have some great interest and contrast Absolutely. there. Absolutely, that's mm -hmm. a great idea. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, let's get you the name of the kit on this one. It is called Stargazer. And once again, this is our So Quick pattern and it's from the book Quilt Favorites. Now this pattern is called Freedom. I had so much fun designing this one. It has this really awesome motif that you create over here in the corner. And then to finish it off, it has super fast strips of fabric to make the stars and stripes look. And this is such an awesome quilt for you to be able to use some smaller prints if you have them. And let's put it on the table and talk about some cool tricks on how to make this one larger. This one is perfect for smaller prints. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you've got some smaller prints 
And you don't really know, is it a, a guy going to get it or a girl going to get it? You know, it, you can just pick out a pattern fabric like this one. Yes. And this is perfect. It is. It adds a, a lot of interest to it because you've got like, I guess these are like fireworks or... Yeah, burst. Yeah. Fire burst. <laughs> and so it's, it's like the cele celebration fabric here. I love it. And so this is the red, and it's going to go, or the number one fabric, it'll go everywhere you see the red. And see, we did the red and white stripes, and we did that so that it kind of mimicked the flag. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your number two fabric, which is a very subtle print. You don't necessarily uh, focus on this. It's a tone on tone. But that makes the perfect background so that this red and blue really do show up. So that is our background. It's going to go everywhere. You see the lighter color here. And then the number three fabric is a mimic. It's a double focus. Mm -hmm. And it works beautifully in these smaller pieces. Because these have small pieces, it just it works to have a smaller print. But it's also going to be on the border, which will be great. Absolutely. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love this particular quilt. It is wonderful. And if you would like to look at this image on the screen, then you can see how well it turns out. It's a real high contrast, but you can see that great starburst or fireworks yes. on the border. It's very bright. Yeah, very bright. I really like that. Now, just like we said earlier, remember we were talking about how uh, you could put two borders. Yes. And if you were wanting to use those end of bolts, you could do something like that to mm -hmm. add the borders. But guess what we have? We have yardage available on the website that would work beautifully. So if you go to our website, you can see these beautiful reds and blues that would coordinate so well with this. And you can purchase it by the yard. And we actually used both of these fabrics and we added two borders, just like I was talking about oh, earlier. It really did increase the size of this particular uh, quilt because we added a two inch border so you can see the patterned blue and then we uh -huh. used a solid blue okay and then we added a five inch of the red fabric wow Isn't frames that it so well yes but it keeps this one still very much with the image of the the flag in the center it's the focal spot yes. in the quilt yes agreed. so i think that one really turned out great now this kit is called firework display and it's the freedom pattern, and it's an individual pattern. Now this is our united quilt, and I especially love this one because we have a nice big block here that is framed with our number three fabric. It gives it a nice pop and a nice separation from our number two fabric. Now this is made in one big block, which makes it super easy to work with, super fun. Now we're gonna show you some additional tricks on how to make a quilt bigger and perfect for donation. So let's get it on the table. When it's a big block, it makes them faster. Oh yes. Because there's not a lot of piecing in here, but it's really just a lot of love because we've got this great fabric. Mm -hmm. So we have these flags, it's like a ribbon and it's just, it's very cool. I thought that was really cool. Yes. I noticed that whenever I was standing here looking at it, I thought that's like a ribbon. It's like <laughs> a ribbon, it's so neat. And I love mm -hmm. this colorway here. Mm -hmm. So our flags are a focus and it's gonna go in our big block here. So really show those off mm -hmm. and then our number two is very cool i like this nice beige and it's got our liberty bells and stars and everything that is going to go on the border of the blocks here that kind of is a creates our sashing here it's kind of cool because i've never seen us use something like this where you have it's like a double focus but you're using it in the number two spot for like a sashing yeah. that's really cool it's going to be fun too because it's also on the border on this quilt yes. so it's going to give us a lot of interest out there i like that i like that and then for our pop and our wow is our red and look how gorgeous that red is with our focus as well as our number two I love that. And our red is going to be our border where you see the blue here. And that's really going to frame it all in together. Mm -hmm. And it's just fabulous. Okay. It also creates that separation for double focus because that always oh, works with double focus yeah. that you separate the two busy fabrics. Yeah, that's a really uh -huh. good point. I'm yeah. glad you brought that up because that's true. It does. All right. Let's show you an image of that because indeed it just turned out amazing. I love those flags wow. in that big block and that red really does border those flags so perfectly on that big block with that little sprinkle of patriotism on that sash. So awesome. very, very fun. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about 
increasing your quilts, but not necessarily adding a border. Yes. Because we've gone through adding one border and two mm -hmm. borders. Mm -hmm. So we can also increase the quilt size by adding a row across the bottom and a column on the left or right side. So that's kind of an easy way to do it. So basically you're just gonna be making additional blocks. In the case of the lap size quilt here, it is three blocks by four rows. So you would simply just make additional blocks mm -hmm. and make the rows be five rows with four blocks each. Pretty cool. And it's gonna make it just a little bit bigger. Now you will need extra fabric for this. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind whenever you're purchasing or whenever you're going to your stash. And this is a really simple way to increase it for donating for Quilts of Valor. Now this kit is called American Spirit. The pattern is United and it's from our Make It Patriotic book. Now this fun pattern is called Pretty Please. And whenever I designed this one, I was actually looking for some things that I could use directional fabric with. And all of you know that we tend to fall in love with the focus fabrics first. And if you fall in love with a directional fabric, it works great in here. As you can see on this fabric, the little birds are all going in the right direction. And I did something a little bit differently. Normally we will border a block with the number three fabric, but in this case, I bordered it with a number two and that makes it really easy for you if you're taking things out of your stash to put a quilt together then you'll be able to pick your fabrics appropriately you might even put a different uh, like a focal fabric a darker focal fabric here and it would also be out here on the block and it would work if you had this bordered with the number two now let's put it on the table and I'm going to tell you something a little bit extra special about this pattern. Now Fran, <laughs> is this not fun fabric? I like this fabric a uh, lot. <laughs> you know, we're always saying we've never met a fabric we didn't like, True. but some of them we just kind of get a little more partial to. Yeah. <laughs> These are awesome. Love this. These are just awesome. So this is the focus fabric and it's going to go everywhere you see the little birds over here. It's a nice size block, so it's going to accommodate these, this larger print. Mm -hmm. And this is a one-way print or a directional print, so it's going to work great in this quilt. Yeah. Now, our number two fabric is this white, and it's kind of a mottled white, and it, it's going to be great for the border of this particular block. It has a tiny, tiny little star in it. It's really uh, cute. Yeah, I was trying to figure out but if that was a star or you have a better yeah. view of it. <laughs> so this is going to go here. And then our number three fabric. Is that not wonderful? Oh, it's sort of like yes. the fireworks that you would see at a balloon show, oh, I guess. Yes. So this is going to be the center here. And it sort of acts like one of those double focus uh, fabrics. Yeah. yeah. So you can also use it on the border. Now. There's something really special about this particular pattern, yeah. and that is it's free. So for a limited time, you can download it free at fabriccafe.com. That's exciting. Yeah, it really is. And now the size of this quilt is like most of our lap quilts that we do at, at Fabric Cafe. Mm -hmm. Then you can still use all of the tools we've been showing you, whether you want to use uh, add one border or two borders, uh -huh. or if you want to add a, ro a row or something. It's great. So if you're making donation quilts, you'll want to rush right over there and get that pattern. That's awesome. Now, let's look at an image of this made oh, up. Oh, good, because I want to see this balloon fabric in the quilt. Look oh, at Oh, I love that. it. <laughs> it is, it's very, very patriotic uh -huh. with the print, but it, it's a little different. It has that a little element of surprise for the patriotic colors. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I really like that. Now, this one is called, this kit is called Balloon Party. And it is using our free pattern, Pretty Please. So our next gorgeous patriotic quilt is Valor. And I especially like Valor, and there's a couple of reasons why. One is because we have this nice block here that has a large area for print, or as you can see, it also works great in a solid. We've got this neat movement in our alternate block that kind of ties all of these together. And our number two here is a great place to put a smaller print to really help your focus pop and our number three is separating it all in the perfect form. So let's get this on the table and look at it big. Now we have one more way that we can make a quilt bigger for donation, and it's really fun. And we're gonna talk about making twin size quilts, but first I wanna show you this great, great fabric. We have some 
eagles here with our flags on here. Beautiful focus fabric, and this is non-directional, which actually this could probably take a directional fabric, but in this case, this is not. It's gonna go in this block here, everywhere mm -hmm. you see the red, and then on the border. Our number two is a, a wonderful kind of a textured beige and white together that looks so good with our focus fabric. It does, it's gonna be a great backdrop, really causes this pattern to yes. come forward. Yes, and so that's gonna be everywhere you see the white and blue here. And then for our real pop is a blue texture. Now this, and you can see how great that pops off that focus. Oh boy. Uh, it is going to go yeah. everywhere you see the blue on this one as well as here. So it's really going to give you a great, great pop. And you can see how that blue borders the focus fabric so beautifully, has so much pop, and just truly looks patriotic, which I, I love. <laughs> I like that too. That's great. All right. Now, another way that we can enlarge our quilts is by increasing it to a twin size or mm -hmm. a queen king. And you know, it is super simple to do that. The first thing is our lap size quilts take one kit mm -hmm. and they're a very nice size quilt. If you would like to enlarge it to a twin size, you would just buy two kits, which is very simple, or a queen king would be a four kits. So you can really make a nice size topper for your king bed with just four kits, which is great. And the bonus on this is all of our books have the instructions on making the quilts larger into a twin or a queen king which is super it really it is. is and it is nice to have right there all three sizes i agree i agree all right so if you wanted to enlarge a quilt for quilts of valor using the twin size instructions um, we have an image on the screen so that you can see the difference between the lap size and the twin size and wow it really does make a difference wow it i've always been amazed at what a big difference it makes just to add two it's, kits together it's just so amazing so let's get you the kit information on this one because i really love these eagles the name of this kit is flights of freedom and once again this is our valor pattern from the book make it patriotic now we love to see the quilts that you've made and we love to share them with everyone Oh yes, and Leslie was so kind. She sent us multiple pictures of quilts that she had made for her local organization. And you know, she's done some really neat things. She's added border, she's increased the size of border, she's increased the size of some of the blocks, she's added rows, some really cool stuff. I thought it was very creative. And we wanted to share a couple of those with you so that you could see what she did to make her quilts a little bit bigger. So the first one that we're going to share is Lickety Split Pattern from Fast and Fun. And she increased the sashing. And oh. I thought that was really clever. We talked about increasing borders, but she increased the size of her sashing strips. And then she also added a row and a border. That is so clever, Leslie, such a great idea. Now, Leslie also shared her version of So Fast with us, which I thought was just so clever. She's actually increased the size of the blocks a little bit so that she could use a panel. And it worked out so well. I'm so impressed with what she did. Now, she increased all of her blocks so they ended up being the same size and that she could still put them together easily. The other thing she did is she increased the size of her border number three. And that just gave her the extra that she needed and I think it turned out perfect. So Leslie, thank you so much for sharing your quilts with us. Now we love seeing these quilts. Absolutely. And we would love to see yours. So if you have a quilt image or something really cool that you've done, send it to us at we listen at fabriccafe.com. We would love to see them. We want to thank all of you out there for using our three yard quilt patterns for donations and quilting. We really, really appreciate it. And if you would like to know more about Quilts of Valor, visit their website at qovf.org. And if you want to see more patriotic inspiration on quilts, be sure and check out the video that pops up. It's Donna Robertson. And Fran Morgan. Thanks, Thanks for, for quilting. quilting.